tutorials, we learned what a pick is and how to use it. In this tutorial, we're going to explore in a lot more depth proper picking technique. The essential goal here is that you want to pick with as smooth and efficient motion as possible. You want to make the pick sort of a natural extension of your hand and fingers so that you can pick with the greatest of ease. You want to make sure that it becomes second nature, that you're not fighting against it, that your hand and fingers are working with the pick to pick all the notes. Let's have a little bit closer look at it. You want to start by remembering that you should have proper posture. You want to sit up straight. If you're slouched over, then that's going to affect the tension and the leverage of your arm all the way down to your fingers and you're going to have a hard time. Set up straight. That will make it a lot easier for your body to move as easily and as naturally as possible. From your shoulder, down your arm to your elbow, down your forearm to your wrist, your hands, your fingers, your fingertips, you want to have the least amount of tension necessary in order to hold on to the pick, to have your arm on the guitar so that you can have a good solid place to rest it so it's a good pivot. If necessary, you can even place the side of your hand or your palm on the bridge or the strings. But it's most important, no matter what you do, no matter what variation on that technique you use, to make sure that your entire body mechanics related to picking are not tense. They're smooth and relaxed. You want to pick lightly, not tightly. All the way down there to the pick, you want to make sure that you're relaxed so that it's a smooth motion. So that you're not fighting against the whole thing. And then digging into the strings and messing it all up. Let's have a little bit closer look at how I'm holding the pick. As noted before, you want to essentially make the pick an extension of your finger. Notice that I've got the teardrop point of the pick facing the same direction as my finger, right? Notice that I've choked up on it, meaning that I'm not holding it by the end here, because if you do that, as soon as you strum it, it's gone. You've lost it. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you choke up on it enough so that there's just a little bit of it showing, maybe a eighth to a quarter of an inch is sticking out past your finger. You want enough showing so that you can lightly graze across the string without your fingers getting in the way. You want to make sure that you've got a firm grip between your thumb and your finger, but you want to make sure that it's not too firm, that it's tight, that your fingers tense from your fingers and thumb all the way up through your hand to your wrist and it's all really tight because then you're going to get stuck in the string and it's going to be terrible. You want to hold it lightly. You want to place your arm on your guitar. If necessary, if you want, you can place the base of your palm, side of your palm on the strings of the bridge lightly. And then you want to lightly graze across the string to get a good sound. Don't dig in too much or you might make the string go sharp and make it harder to get to the next string, overshoot and hit the next string. Make it sound like a big disaster. You just want to graze lightly across the string. 